Why haven't they disposed of the statement by the minister who said that all his, his ministry is full of thieves? The same the minister who referred the case to them said in August last year that of thieves. Listen, judgment of the Ghanaian, and I can uh, to judge and see that there's no corruption, not only in the Ministry of Transport, but in public contracting and works. What I told them is that they wanted the name of the contractor. And I said that you know, and I know that what will happen to the contractor, not um, in terms of what he has said, but that means the end of their business. If I and you believe that the roads would get washed after a year, in two years, where other places last for 25, is because they have gone through clean one. I will leave it. I wouldn't like to engage in this further. I think that I will rest my case. I don't say they are lying. They say their investigation. They say it is presumptuous. It's up to them. Let them tell Ghanaians. They have told Ghanaians that it is presumptuous. Let Ghanaians make their judgment. Here is an insider who said that his ministry are full of thieves. You Ghanaians are not prepared to ask him to name the thieves in his ministry, but because there makes me appear. Then you want to ask Stephen Ade. Let it be there. The road minister said that his ministry are full of thieves. And if a head of an institution says his ministry is full of thieves, and you want to uh, have a discussion with Stephen Ade because he said that someone had told him that someone demanded a bribe from him. And therefore, that is the national issue. I'm sorry, it's a misplaced priority.